Good afternoon, everybody. This is uh, Hitesh Vaidya representing ASR India. I welcome you all for this wonderful event, Didact India, which is exhibiting the digitalization of education space in India. It's a wonderful opportunity for all of us to be a part and witness of this wonderful gathering, which is all happening here in Bangalore city. As you all would be aware, uh, Indian government and the Indian ecosystem, they're doing a lot of work in the education space in terms of promoting education, in terms of digitalizing education, which actually goes with the Make in India and digital theme of Government of India. So when we talk about digital India, it talks about digitization and digitalization of each and every aspect and nuances of a human body. Specifically talking about education, if, you, if I have to give you a few, you know, if I have to speak about few tips about what all is happening and how transformation is happening in the digital ecosystem within India. One of the major points in India is that India is today going to be the fastest growing digital economy in the world. And when I say so, it also contributes to children and the students community, which is going to be one of the largest community of children and millennials in India by the year 2022. So which means that it offers a lot of scope and opportunity for organizations, for people who are a part of this entire ecosystem to be here in India and witness this wonderful transformation which is happening in India and of course across the globe. To uh, specifically talk about a lot of initiatives which uh, government is taking to promote this ecosystem of uh, uh, digitization and digitalization in India. There are a lot of manifesto-led projects which are being currently run by Government of India. Today, more than 10 states, they are offering free IT hardware and equipments to people, to students who are meritorious in their respective states, in their respective fields. And that is actually helping all these students to embrace this new and latest wave of technology. What happens when a student who is actually doing all these activities, who is actually getting all this attention from government, is that it helps him, it motivates him to do more, to do more in terms of research, to do more in terms of improving the education standard in this place, in the place, in the area where uh, uh, this student is, uh, is actually uh, studying. And it also helps the teacher community in terms of ensuring that all these students they are able to get that quality education, what they really want through this uh, digital ecosystem. Specifically talking about Acer India, something else that we do, I mean, we are not just, you know, in the space of providing students and the teachers, the equipments and the technology, but we are also helping all this community to integrate with the latest technology, which are not even being provided by Acer, but which is a part of this entire digital ecosystem and the education ex uh, ecosystem as well. We have integrated a lot of products, which helps us in integrating with latest technologies, whether it comes from Microsoft, it comes from Google, or it comes from Intel and AMD for that matter. So we are integrating all our latest range of products and devices with all these new emerging technologies for the be benefit and for helping achieve the outcomes what Government of India and the education system wishes to achieve through this wonderful initiative of making India as a really a digital economy. Education, as we know, when, you, when, you, when, when we talk about a, a young child, young child, typically, if you go back 20 years or 30 years back, when we, really, when we were growing up, that education system was more in terms of teachers imparting that education to the students. But you just see, I mean, 30 years down the line, children or the entire ecosystem is not just dependent on the children. We are all dependent on the latest technologies which would actually help us in terms of achieving the real outcomes of this education, what we really want for our, uh, for our children, for our uh, young population. And as they say, uh, uh, educated child is a real wealth of a nation and wealth doesn't come from just amassing wealth or just um, uh, amassing the GDP of an organization. It also depends upon how the children and the population is edu educated for a country. I am sure with the wonderful initiatives that Indian government is taking and the wonderful initiative that entire ecosystem in India is now developing, it would help in terms of achieving what we really want, 100% literacy and 100% education for all the haves as well as the have-nots. And that's what ASA really aspires for. And along with that, I would also like to, uh, like to make sure that 
Acer is putting in right efforts to ensure that all the devices which comes, they are climatically, we, we believe in, in being very climatic friendly. So we, whatever devices that we bring today, they are all climate friendly. We are trying to reduce the volume of the equipments and the devices, which would actually help in terms of, you know, reducing the carbon footprint in this e entire ecosystem. So uh, this is all I, I have to say as far as uh, Didac India and Acer's uh, interest in this uh, wonderful event is concerned. But I'm sure as we move forward, you'll see a lot of technological advancements and a lot of technological up upgradation in the products and the ecosystem that we, that we are a part of. Thank you very much, uh, Didac India, for giving us an opportunity to be part of this wonderful and amazing gathering. And uh, I'm sure uh, once you visit our stall, you'll get to know a lot about what all Acer has to offer in this space. Thank you very much.